Hey friends, my name is Daniel. In this video, I want to chat a little bit about this idea of going to university. Or as our American friends would call it, college. Um, I'll start off by saying that I did my degree in theology. I've got a B2H in theology. And I'm actually an advocate of going to university. And I think the, the message that's been coming across on all social platforms for the last couple of years is very negative when it comes to university. Um, formal education has been shot down a lot and I'm concerned if we listen to these voices now. In the YouTube world they're called YouTube influencers and I want to say that with that I do respect these guys. A lot of these guys, they've made it. They're successful in what they're doing, and they're reaching multitudes. My concern, though, is that with, maybe to quote <laughs> Spider-Man, with that influence, that power, comes great responsibility. And I'm scared that this message that nobody should go to college or university anymore is dangerous. On the one hand, I'm really concerned with the fact that we are, we're creating a void in the academic world and that there's people with great ideas, with great dreams and academic ability that we're telling to not study further, to not go into the formal educational streams. My other concern is that by saying that you don't have to go. We're actually saying that you've got what it takes to make it in life already. So just go at life. And if you fail, try again. Now, I think uh, personally, I think it's that's irresponsible. It's irresponsible advice. I think we can't tell young people that they don't need these skills and and that's something I want to chat a little bit about is some of the skills you do get when going to university. I want to start off also by saying that um, I'm not naming names. I'm not going to call out anyone because I think that's not my heart. My heart is for people that's asking the question just to get an alternative thought and maybe that we would have a conversation and it's not just an this is bad, don't do it. Let's talk about it, let's think about it, let's be rational about this idea of further studies. So my biggest concern is this comparison thing. And I see a lot of these influencers do it and a lot of videos on YouTube is, is doing this where they would say that Guys like Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg and um, Steve Jobs, and they'll say that these guys, some of them didn't go to college, some of them didn't finish college. And I think that is a super dangerous thing to do, to compare guys coming out of high school with the level of a Steve Jobs or a Bill Gates. Because the reality is that we don't have the skill set, the character, the, the build, the influences, or the, 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 the thinking pattern of these guys. So, and those are things that either they're blessed by their DNA, or it's things that they develop through their parents or through situations or circumstances. And they've got certain skill sets that makes them really successful. I think we shouldn't, shouldn't compare ourselves with these superheroes. On the other hand, the, the YouTube influencers, most of these guys are superheroes themselves. That they have that um, personality and they've got the character and they've got the skills already developed and it's easy to make blanket statements like I hate college or don't go to college or don't listen to your parents. I'm like mm, maybe don't listen to your parents 
in, in, in when it comes to your future, know where you're going and, and know what decisions to make. But don't just, because this guy said, don't do it, don't do it. Really figure out why I shouldn't or why I should. So my, com my that comparison idea, I really think we should be careful with that. And then what benefits do we have by going to university? So like I'm saying is that we don't, there's certain skills and certain things we learn through life experience. Certain things are just personality and certain things we, we can't really learn because it's who we are, who we are made to be. And so I'm not saying that university is for everyone. Don't, don't get me wrong. And I'm not saying university is perfect. I can honestly say that there's probably 10% of the stuff that I was taught at university, the content that I was taught, I still use today. Um, I'm still in the field. I'm still in the theological field. So I use my studies a lot. But what I want to talk about when it comes to university is the other skills you learn that's not in your field. You see, we, we can say that a guy like Tony Robbins is like this genius and he's, he's reached his success. And, uh, and, but you can't compare yourself with him if you don't have the skills he's got, if you don't have the the work ethic, the, the study ethic, the, the personal development ethic he's got, then you can't compare yourself with that. What you can do is compare yourself with yourself and say, she's, I'm not where I can see myself to be, and there are certain things that I need to put in place to get there. What's those things? How can you develop those things? So now, one of my favorite ones, one of the favorite influencers, uh, he's, he's known to make the, the statement that you shouldn't go to college. And he would say, and this would be his advice, and I think it's good advice, that young people should go and find successful people and intern for them and work under them and learn from them. So and this is great advice if you've got access to those people or you have opportunities to do that. Now, I don't know if it's just a South African culture, but in South Africa, we don't have access to those type of influencers in the business world or in uh, entrepreneurship. So to actually get that is really difficult. So uh, like I say, it's good advice, but I think we need to be real about it and say that not everyone's got those opportunities. The other thing I, I want to chat about is that I think we need to get a good middle ground between acknowledging further education as important and still beneficial but with that have a plan of the future and have a plan of um, maybe having those influencers around you and being mentored and and studying outside of the scope of your studies to make sure that you've you've been educated not just by the content of the university but by the content of the world of influencers reading studying taking in and so I'm not dissing the YouTube influencers I'm actually saying get plugged into that follow the guys that that speaks to you but also there's a specific place for further education. So what I want to do now is I'm going to give you, um, I made a list of things and these are just, it's, it's not a, it's not a, a, a perfect list. It's not, but it's a couple of skills that you will learn from university that's outside of the content of your field. The, the one big thing is a work ethic and I've mentioned it just shortly now, but a lot of us come out of high school with no work ethic. You were spoon-fed. Everything was given to you. If you come out of a good, a good uh, family, 
that even your family has like just given you stuff and you've never learned to work for for yourself like look university is going to teach you that you're going to walk in there it's not high school you need to make things happen you need to put in the hours to get the results and that skill needs to be taught that skill needs to be developed the the other thing is um, critical thinking how some Oaks would say that the universities don't teach that anymore but in your own studies like you need to start asking good questions to write good essays to write good papers because without good questions you never answer anything and you start asking critical things you become critical about your field and you start asking how can I create a solution or how can I fix this problem? You're going to learn that through university. The next one is writing skills. And this is so important. It's where you have the ability to put your thinking onto paper. And that doesn't come natural. That's a, a, a process, a skill that needs to be developed. And it's by doing it, spending time on it. 10,000 hours rule that the more you do it the more better you'll become at it and if you not don't have that skill it's not just going to fall out of the sky you must remember that real thoughts real ideas don't happen in your head those ideas needs to come out of you and that idea needs to be formulated and this is where the skill really comes in great when you learn to take your thoughts, your ideas, your dreams, put it on paper and not just your scribbles, but put it in paper and communicate it in such a way that other people can catch your heart through your writing. The next skill, problem solving, like you will be faced with a lot of problems, like academic problems. In some fields, problems that's been around for years, hundreds of years. I mean, there's in my field, there's, there's, there's fights that's been going around about certain doctrines for hundreds of years. And you have to fight with that thing and figure out what you believe and formulate what you believe by looking at texts and looking at studies and looking at in-depth arguments and be able to formulate your thoughts and not just take everything every youtuber and say that's truth now because this guy said it the next thing is time management it comes in with work ethic but you will have to know it's time to study now now i can do something else now it's last time and you learn to put certain things into place I've, i had this friend I still have this friend and he, he is really bad with time. Like he'll be late for everything. He'll be late for every single meeting, whether it's social or even when it's, it's church, he'll, this guy's late. And it's amazing how university got that out of him because if you're late for an exam, you don't write. The doors close and you can't come in. If you're late for class, you're late. They're not going to wait for you. You learn certain things happen at certain times and you need to be punctual. And then the last point I just want to touch on is responsibility. And you can read the books on responsibility. You can listen to the talks on responsibility. But until you catch, you are the one that needs to be responsible. You are the only one that determines your success. You are the only one that's going to look after your, in this context, after your marks, after your achievements. If you don't get that, you're going to start a company and not realize it's on me. You're going to be blame shifting and saying, yeah, it's the economy, that's why my business is failing. Or it's the, um, it's this bad, the bad workers. No, responsibility falls on you. It's, it's you. It's, it's taking that ownership of your life. And university teaches you that. 
Nobody writes the exam for you. Nobody pitches up a class for you. If you don't do the work, if you don't take the ownership, you don't get the results. And, and the second list I want to share with you is, is the opportunities. Um, there's a lot of great opportunities that's birthed out of going to university. I think the, the first one is, um, and this is something we can actually really go in depth with, but startups. How many startups were born through university? Steve, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, they got connected through university. And Apple was birthed out of that environment. You see, university gives you the opportunity to meet people, to grow in relationship with people, to dream together, to, to pass ideas, concepts, and to build bigger ideas because you're in an environment that causes conversation. I want to tell you straight, your ideas that you share with your buddy at the bar is going to stay in the bar because you might be thinking and dreaming and on a next level. You need to have people around you that's on this journey as well. And that's what university also creates. It creates a community of people that can dream big, that can put ideas on paper, that can actually put in action steps for your idea to become a reality, for your dream to become true. So the next one is side hustles. Um, now, if we, we know side hustles. You need a side hustle. You need something that's going to create... Uh, create capital that's going to create an income, uh, extra income, even a passive income. But you know what? This is one thing that when you go to university, unless you're working while you're studying, then that job is your side hustle. But if you're only studying, you're full-time studying a certain course, you've got more time. You've got more opportunities to start a side hustle. And not just that, you're sitting with thousands of customers that's ready to take your product. It's ready to, to be your market research. And not just that, you've got the students, but also you've got their parents. So you're sitting with this opportunity to market your product, your concept, your idea to thousands Access that nobody else has. Like so, like I mentioned with, with startups, the collaborations that's possible. Like you've got access to hundreds of um, um, accountant students with hundreds of engineers, hundreds of, like you, you name it. And together you guys can come together and, and build on a project. Like now imagine you build an app for accounting and you get an accountant to do the accountant part work and you get a programmer and an engineer together and you can get these guys to work together for well pretty much nothing because they're so excited to actually put to work their idea and like I said it might be the next Apple it might be the next Microsoft it might be who knows because you've placed these influencers these thinkers these dreamers together in a room and who knows what could happen you've got access to amazing resources you've got access to all the academic papers on on campus you've got access to peers your the people studying with you in your field but also other fields you've got access to lecturers now like we've said earlier You've got access to that mentoring idea. You've got people that's been in the field or even just in the academic field at least. And you've got access to pool resources from them. Now, I want to end this video by saying this, that in no ways do I think university is perfect. I've already mentioned a lot of the content that you might study won't be rele relevant later. 
But I do want to say there's certain skills you learn that's not part of the content. And university is not for everyone. College is not for everyone. But it might just be the best decision you make. It might just be the stepping stone for your success. If you've got questions about university or directions you want to go in, I want to say connect with me. Connect with me via Facebook, via uh, YouTube. All my contact details will be in the description. Don't allow the opinion of people to block your future. If you're young and you're listening to this, don't think you don't have time. What you can do in a year is very limited, but what you can do over 10 years is amazing. So guys, thank you for listening. I hope this was beneficial. I hope I could just start a conversation about do I still need to go to university or not? Cheers. Check you later.